Hey everyone, I'm Aaron from MichiganAmbushOutdoors.com and today I'm here to talk to you about a new release that was put out on the market by Spot Hog Archery for the 2020 hunting season. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into the Michigan Ambush Outdoors YouTube channel. I'm your host Aaron from MichiganAmbushOutdoors.com and as promised today I'm here to talk to you about the new archery release that was put out at the ATA show earlier this year by Spot Hog Archery and this is the Spot Hog Tough Guy. So real quick we're going to dive into the technical specifications and what sets this release aside from some of the other releases that Spot Hog Archery has put out uh, is the fact that this is a closed caliper system. Now keep in mind they do have the Keaton which is also a closed caliper system but what what's different about the Keaton and this is I would say that this release actually resembles kind of the Spot Hog Wise Guy other than the fact that it is a closed caliper system. The Wise Guy is an open caliper system. Uh, Spot Hog really stayed true to the design as far as the no creep, no travel trigger. So as soon as you start to put any pressure on this thing, this thing is going to open up and allow that string to clearly pass through without any clearance issues. Uh, this release has a ton of adjustability. So if you want to set this uh, super heavy as far as the pull weight goes or super light, you have that ability to by just adjusting this Allen key that's located right below the trigger. If you turn it clockwise, it's actually going to increase the poundage. If you turn it counterclockwise, it'll decrease it. What else is really nice about this release is the fact that you have all this micro adjustment and uh, it's hard to see in the video, but I'll show it to you in a close up that there's actually these grooved out notches, which really allow you to micro tune this to your setup. So if you have big hands or small hands, this is going to accommodate a variety of shooters. The next really nice thing about this design is the fact that this is actually a lock away uh, release. This is the same as the Spot Hog, Spot Hog Wise Guy, but uh, this was something that I didn't really care for in the beginning, but it's definitely something that I've learned to like. Uh, one thing to keep in mind that if you, if you have this release on and you have your bow in your hand and it's actually in the back position, you're going to have to figure out how to get that forward without obviously taking your hand off your bow just a quick tip that what i learned is just snag it on whatever garment you're wearing and it folds up and it's in your hand immediately i'm just wearing a small t-shirt uh, if you had a jacket it would probably even work a little bit better but that's that's what i've been doing and it seems to work pretty well so i'm pretty happy with it now <clears throat> this release is offered in a couple different uh, variations you can actually buy this in a buckle style or the boa style uh, the buckle style is offered in black which you see here and then also a cam camo version when i last checked on amazon you could get the both buckle styles black or camo for about 120 bucks and then if you wanted to get the boa system i believe it was like right around 139 149 i'll make sure that i put a picture in the video of the amazon screenshot that i took so you can actually see the pricings and get it accurate but the nice thing about amazon is you can always order this type of release shoot it if it's something that you don't like amazon's pretty good about their returns a uh, couple of the things that I really don't like about this release is the fact that it is pretty noisy. You can hear that clicking when I go to close the caliper or close the, the jaws. It's a pretty distinct click. And then also when you go to fire it. So uh, in, in the situation where I'm actually firing the bow, it's not so much of a concern for me that it's a noisy trigger because obviously uh, the arrow has already left the bow and then the, the sound from the bow itself is going to hide that that click however when you go to close it though that is you know that is a concern because obviously if you're in a tree stand and you've got a deer within 10 to 15 yards there's probably a good probability if you slap this close that they may hear that now one workaround that i've discovered from shooting this release for about two months now is just try to work it a little slower uh, than just slamming it close and it really eliminates that noise so that's the workaround that i've discovered uh, with this release now the next thing that i have to say that i really dislike about this and i'm actually going to call it a flaw 
by spot hog archery, at least in my opinion, is the fact that if you have any little bit of tension or resistance on this outside caliper, this jaw will actually not close. So I'm not really putting any pressure on that outside jaw. And you can see that that is actually not closing. And the way that I discovered this is I was actually going to loop this on my D loop. Uh, I had a little bit of resistance, not enough for me to really even notice closed it, went to go pull back and it came clean off the D-loop. So again, uh, any resistance on the outside caliper, this thing is not gonna close. So that's probably my biggest complaint about this. However, uh, a workaround is again, when I go to work this a little smoother uh, to close it, I just put my finger on that caliper and that just ensures that it locks around my D-loop every single time. So now let's talk about some of the things that I personally like about this release. So the main thing that I honestly really, really like about this release is the fact that you have a lot of material to grab onto when you draw your bow. I do feel that that helps you get past that peak part of your draw weight uh, or your draw cycle on your bow. So I really do like that feature about it. Uh, the next thing that I really like is the fact that this is a pretty rigid design. It's got a lot of material to it and it stays in the same exact spot every time you draw with this release. Whereas the release that I shot previously, this is a true ball assassin. You can see that this he head actually rotates uh, 360 degrees on this ball here. And the problem with that is if you didn't grab this at the same spot every single time, if you drew this back, sometimes it could be can canted up, down, uh, and you could get some inconsistency inconsistencies with how you're pulling through your shot. Uh, the next thing that I really like about it is the fact that you can really micro tune this where uh, again with a, a similar product like this, uh, this True Ball Assassin, you only have various set screws where you can place this release. You don't have the adjustability to, to micro adjust this release for your settings. So that's another huge bonus for me. Overall, if you ask my opinion, if this is a good release or not, I would definitely say that it is. Uh, as I mentioned before, I've been shooting this release for probably about two months, ever since I picked up my Matthews uh, VXR, and I've come to really, really like this release. Just the fact that I don't have to worry about it rotating was a huge benefit for me. I was able to get more consistent with my anchor and definitely more accurate, especially at, at further yardages, um, and my groups definitely got a lot tighter. So that's gonna conclude it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful if you've made it to this point in the video and you like this content please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you guys are notified next time we put out another adventure video or another product review your guys' support greatly helps out our channel and if you are shooting a caliper release that you actually really like uh, please leave a comment below and let us know what it is you are shooting i think that'll help some of the other viewers see what's available on the market as always, please make sure to go check out our michiganambushoutdoors.com webpage. We do have some merch available. It's not a requirement for you guys to purchase anything, but at least go check it out and let us know what you guys think of the site. And you can, I'll put a link in the description below. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. We appreciate your guys' support. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Uh -huh.